Let me know if this ever happened to you. In my latest video, I explained a super easy way to set up real-time speech recognition with Whisper.cpp and Faster Whisper. The transcription quality of the model is really great. However, sometimes there is a problem with another element of the system, the one between the chair and the computer. The transcription model will happily recognize all of your ugly hesitations and filler words, the ums and ems and buts and sos and so on and so forth. Plus, don't know about you, but I, when thinking out loud, have a tendency of repeating myself. Today we will solve this problem. And the solution is so elegant, so easy to set up that I encourage you to follow this tutorial with me step by step, unless you are having lunch. In that case, just save it for later. First, let's install the Silly Tavern AI. Go to Silly Tavern Launcher and git clone it to your local computer. CD to directory and execute this command. Choose the second option, which is install Silitarian without any extras. Extras are great, but the installation will take a very long time and we do not need most of those things. While it's installing a short Eli5 on what is Silitarian AI, it advertises itself as LM front end for power users. But if you go and have a look at the landing page and the docs, you'll see it's mostly for role-playing and... <clears throat> how should I put it? Children cover your ears, sexu. They said it, not me. It's just a front end that can be connected to any LM of your choice. It has a stuff like talking heads, real-time voice cloning, and even mini-games, whatnot. The reason we want it, however, is the speech recognition capability that is much more advanced than of Ubabuga text generation web UI, which is my favorite front end slash model loader. By now you should have it installed from Silly Tavern Launcher. Go to Silly Tavern folder and then there execute the start script. So now it is working and we can open it at the following local address. Go to extensions tab, download extensions. And then install the speech recognition extension. Set it to browser and leave other settings as is. Next, go to character management here and import uh, our audio scrub bot character persona. Get the file from GitHub just in the video description. Yes, it's an anime girl you saw on a thumbnail, not the dull robot. And if anyone from OpenAI is listening, I have a rant here. I use GPT occasionally for creating some media for my videos and I instructed it to make a picture of audio scrubbing bot, which it kind of did more or less successfully. And then I was like, hey, since Silly Terran AI and its power users with their big butt waifu is almost a meme at this point, how about I just instruct it to make me a big butt waifu doing the audio scrubbing? To which it was like, no, this content may violate our content policy. Christ, I did not ask it to be naked or anything. Listen, Sam, I have a butt and it's moderately sized and there is nothing offensive about that. Moving on. Now you have appropriately sized butt waifu audio scrubber imported and it's time to try it out in action. You don't need any GPU or local LM at this point since we can connect to AI. AI Horde is a crowdsourced distributed cluster of image generation workers and text generation workers. To put it simply, these are kind internet strangers with GPUs donating them to everyone in need. But from what I understand, it offers little to no privacy guarantees, so I would not trust it with my credit card number. For our sanity check, it's good enough. Register an account, you'll definitely need it, but it's like basically one click, and then find a suitable model. Mixtrail seems to be all the rage right now, and there is one here, Mixtrail Instruct, that has a lot of workers at this moment. I picked that one. And once you choose it, you'll see the connected status. Let's pick again our audio scrubber. Now we can press on the microphone and say something. And yeah, that's it. It worked. Okay, so actually let me try something else. Let, let's try making a slightly longer sentence. 
uh, tonight uh, we are going to travel to the center of the Earth, and uh, we're going to travel to the center of the Earth, and uh, I'm not sure what to say, but I think it's going to be uh, an exciting journey uh, where we're going to see lots of different uh, landscapes on our way, and the lava, and uh, trees, and everything. Alright, so that worked too. Of course, it will depend on the model you choose, but as you see later, even the smaller models will work pretty well. That's great, but what if you do really need to tell it your credit card number and you don't want to use the AI port? If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button and comment if you have any issues. Let's speed run the local language model installation. We'll use text generation web UI Ubabuga as the model loader and API provider. I made a video about it and similar projects. For more info and step-by-step -step guide, there's a link in the video description. The only difference from what we did last time is we're going to have the text generation web UI running locally instead of the Docker container. It will also work very well for Mac users. So obviously git clone the repo. And it's really just one command. It's start, and then you'll need to choose your operating system. In my case, I'm going to choose macOS, and it's going to start the installation process. During the installation process, choose the appropriate acceleration option. For me, I have chosen Mac Apple Silicon because I already have it installed. I have it running at this address. So let me copy it and paste here. You go to session and you make sure that the API button is ticked, then apply extensions and restart. I'm gonna go here and you'll see that there is OpenAI compatible API URL. Another thing that you'll need to do in text generation web UI is download the model. I experimented with quite a few language models and in my experience, Orca 2, 7 billion parameters, quantized one, works pretty well for this test. You need to download it, go to Hugging Face, copy this link and paste it here, and then copy and paste the exact name of the model. As I said, I am using a Q5KM model, which is just the quantization parameters of the model. Paste it here and then press download. All right, and after that, we're good to go. So let's go back to Silly Tavern. Instead of Horde, we're going to choose text completion. It defaults to Ubabuga. And here is our API. Let's press connect. Okay, great. You see if it's connected successfully, we have the model name that we loaded just now. Start a new chat with our audio scrubber. Let's repeat the test with the local language model now. I'm sure say, and, uh, I think I'd like to use Um, well, you know, I will say that I will uh, enjoy it a lot. As you see, the larger model, the Mixtral, definitely performs much better. But the smaller model is also quite capable of uh, making the user input more coherent and more like an actual polished written speech. I'm making the next video using Silly Tavern AI and local language model to create something intelligent and spooky. When it is done, you can see it right here. Or to run machine learning inference on a device the size of your thumb Check out this playlist about TinyML.